Welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java series, today we are going to see how we can find the broken links. Okay. So it means let's think about a situation where in your application there are a lot of different links are there, right? Either it can be linking to your own domain. It means that within your application, it can link to go or directly navigate to some other screens. Let's say that I want to go directly from the home page to the settings screen. From settings, let's say that I want to go to the your account screen so or maybe it can link to a different uh, uh, what do you call it, url as well so think about i want to link to a privacy and policy of some other links or maybe i want to link into the google search results so some kind of stuff either it is on your domain or else a different domain now in that case and probably you might be having a lot of different links in your application and it is a bit difficult for uh, for a human being to kind of go through through each link and kind of verify that whether that particular link is working fine or not. Now, so how do we do that? How do we automatically do that? So to do that, first let's try to understand if a link is broken, then what are the different possible errors we can get it? Because based on that, we need to identify whether this particular link is working fine or not, right? Because there are uh, possible situations it can happen. So think about I'm clicking on a link. It can open that link, but the content is not found there. Okay, another situation would be you are clicking on the link, the server that the particular link should render your data, the server is not available. Okay, sometimes you are you are clicking on the link, that link itself is not found. It means that it's a broken link, the link is not completed. Or maybe the data was there before into this link, but the, now they have changed the URL of that link. Now, these are the different possible uh, issues can happen with your links, right? Now, how do we automatically assert all these links, uh, assert all these errors? Okay, so the best option is to kind of, uh, what do you call, do some kind of connection actually. So Java has something called as a HTTP connection. So we can use the HTTP connection uh, library and we can check what is exactly the status of that particular link. So we will be hitting that particular link to our HTTP connection. So the HTTP will now kind of will go and link with that URL and will let us know that. So it, it won't really read that particular content, but it will say you whether that link is valid. If it is valid, then it will return you the HTTP status code of 200. If it is, let's say that if your server is not responding from where the data it has to fetch and if the server is not responding, then it will throw you 500 errors. Let's say that you are not authorized or that particular link is broken means it has to go to the settings link, but it would have been now uh, moved to the content. Let's say that then now you will be getting some kind of 400 errors. So the the popular error we get it is that page not found, which is 404 error. Okay, so these are the different errors you might get. So normally we consider 400 series errors or 500 series errors are where actually your link is broken in a in a kind of uh, high level we consider that there are even a situation where your link can be moved to a different location and it will throw you 301 okay so and then let's say that your link is not related to the https connection it is a http then it will throw you 301 error as well now talk about the positive scenarios. If your link is working fine, then it will throw you the 200. So 200 means that, okay. So HTTP status code is 200 and the status message is your okay message. Okay. It means that your link is absolutely fine and you are good to go. Now, based on these kind of positive and negative scenarios, we can hit to the HTTP connection to each of the link that we can fetch from the application or from the screen. And then we can verify, we can fetch the HTTP status code, compare against our expected one, and then we'll list out what links are really working working what links are not working okay so if you want to know more about like what is the http status code what are the calls and everything then i would suggest to go through this link let me share that with you guys
So you can go, go through this link, uh, which is saying that the API testing uh, uh, one and where it is telling that the common HTTP and rest assured, uh, what you call request status codes. You can see if your HTTP connection is returning any one of these code, it means that it's a success message. If any client specific errors, like I said, unauthorized, uh, forbidden, not found, the link is not found, you will be getting 400 errors. And if your, if your server is not responding you properly, then you will be getting the 500. I have explained these things in detail. You can just go through this 15 minutes video and you will get lot more details about the status codes. Okay. Now we will be applying the same logic, but we will be using Java specific library or the class that is called as a HTTP URL connection. Let me show you that implementation. And for this, I have taken one uh, particular URL. Let me show you that. So in this particular URL, if you go to this link section, you will see a lot of different links are there in this particular web page and where a couple of links are uh, like uh, working fine. So those which you might get the 200 uh, series okay, status code, some links you will be getting different status code. Like if you are clicking on this or hitting to this link, you will be getting 404. It means that the link is broken. Okay. If you are clicking on this particular link, then it will throw you the 500. It means that the server is not responding. And another error, I said that if you are, if you are going to the 301, so it is like the content is moved to the some other URL or something. That is what you will be seeing. Let me first click on this link for an instance and you can see the page not found. So it means that it will throw you the 404 error. Now, how do we see now here we are seeing this is page not found. And that's why I'm saying that it's a 404 error. But in reality, we have to hit to that particular link by using the HTTP URL connection Java class, and then we will fetch the status code. I will be showing you that in detail. So let's get into the code. And here I will create a new Java file or a Java class. Let's say that broken link, broken links. And now in this, I will be specifying the code actually here. So in this case, let me put public static void main. Okay. And let me just give you the bit detail about the Selenium, how we'll be launching that particular application. So let me copy paste the details. Now, how do I get the links? So I will say list of web element, okay, web element, and then I will say links equal to driver dot find elements I will be using by dot tag name. Now tag name of what actually a right? The a is nothing but noted as all the links. Okay, if you go and inspect your links, then you will see the tag name is noted as uh, a tag let me show you that so if i go here right click inspect you can see it is an a tag so that is what i'm getting it here now the next thing is that once i got all the links the second thing is that i need to loop over these links so simple concept what i'm going to do here i will say for and then i will say individual elements and then i will say el colon links and then here I need to specify something. So one thing is that if you see each link, each a tag should have an attribute of href. Put this string here. So string URL, I will be getting that URL. See the actual link is where it is present on this a tags href is nothing but the actual link where it will be opening that for an instance if i'm right clicking and opening into a new tab so this particular url is nothing but this href so i have to get that href so here what i'm going to do after i will be looping over to this a tags and here i'm going to do like this so here i will say link sorry the el dot I will say get attribute. You can see there is a get attribute of href. Now what this will do, this will give me the actual URLs, which I can hit to the uh, particular method actually, which will give me the all the return types or the status code. So I will be writing a, a method actually, which will verify these links. Okay. And here I will be sending that particular URL. That's it. Now, what is this verify links? I don't have any uh, method here, right? Which is a user defined method. So let's go ahead and create this method. 
so you will be seeing a public static void here url is there so here is where actually we need to write the actual logic of hitting that url and then verifying the status code or message so for this as i told i will be using the http url connection so here let me put it inside a try block and i will say http url connection and i will say just connection okay equal to here what i am going to do i will be taking let me just write it then i will be explaining that so http connection of what the that particular url actually so i will take a new url and inside this this would store that particular url and after that i will be opening a connection actually there so for this let me first import this one and it should be coming from java.net okay and here what i'm going to do this and if i put a dot here and then it should give me the open connection that's it you just need to do this one let's see what is the url so it's just adding a catch block here i need to add this catch block okay so after i am hitting to this one now this connection will give me a lot of different stuff here actually so i can use this connection object and i can get a lot of different options in this sense i can get the status code i can get the status message but before to this one actually i have to connect actually so i am opening this connection actually the first thing is that then i have to connect it the actual connection i need to do so for this there is something called as connect method which will actually go to that particular url on the back end uh, it will go to the http connection and will verify that now before to that let's think about this actually we need to give some kind of a timeout actually so that what will happen if for some instance let's say that if your uh, connection is slow or something then it will wait for some time then it will verify let's say that your server is bit slow or your own internet is bit slow then how do you do that so you have to give some time right let's say that i'm giving 5 seconds time that okay if within 5 seconds if you're getting some response that's fine else you just come out and say that that is not working fine okay so now i got this connection now after this what i'm going to do this connection will even give me lot of different stuff so one of that is that i can use this get method you can see get will give me lot of different stuff one is get response you can see get response code actually so i will be holding get response code another one it will even give me the get response message as well you can see now these two based on these two things i will be asserting which i was talking at the between int status equal to i am keeping this one and this one string message i'll say if if your status okay if your status let's say that my status is 200 it means that it's fine right the only problem is coming when it is 400 or 500 means if it is not 200 then i will consider that as my error actually that the link is broken but i said that there are certain uh, scenarios where if your uh, if your connection or if your link is not https then it will give you the 301 so 301 errors are not exactly errors so these are just informational messages so i'm not going to include the 301 errors here so if it is 400 or above 400 then that is considered as the link is broken so can i write here this way if your status is greater than or equal to 400 then you consider that your uh, that particular url is broken so i can say s out here sorry s out control space and then your links link means that individual link it will print that actual link and i will say link is broken okay link broken and i can print the status code as well so i'll say like this give some space and then status and then plus i will give some space again then i'm printing that message i'm just formatting the details that's it and here this should be the url right not link fine so that is what i'm going to do let's say else else means your uh, what do you call the other condition right else means if you are what do you call if that is not 400 or above 400 it means that your url is working fine so let me format the same thing here i will say url working 
and I will print the status and the message itself. Okay, so that is how you will be verifying that. Let's see what is that error it is showing. Okay, fine. Now, so you know, what this will do? First, this will go to this particular URL, fetch all the links from this particular what you call screen, then go through the each link and get the href. That is nothing but my actual link or the URL. Now that URL will be hitting to this verify links where it is going and connecting. So these three lines of code will actually do that HTTP connection. Once that is done, this connection object is giving you the code and the message. Now based on that message, I can play with that. If it is 400 and above, I would consider that the links are broken. If not, the link is working fine. That's pretty much it. You need to do that. Now let's give it a try here. So let me run this main method. So you can see it is fetching all the links that is present on that particular web browser or that web screen and you can see everything is done and I didn't write to close the browser that's why it just stayed as it is no worries I will be closing this one now here you can see so the first link it is working fine which is coming from my status actually here and then the status code is 200 and okay as I said if it is 200 it means that it, it is hitting properly. Now there is another link, it is also working fine. But you see, this link is not working, it's broken because it's getting 404 status code and the message is not found. Now you can see this is a 301 error, right? It's working fine. If you go to this link, it will be, uh, what do you call, hitting to this particular link. But it is moved permanently, means to some other URL it is moved. But when you go to this particular link, so it's kind of broken because you are not getting any response from your server itself. Now there are two more links are present which is pretty much working fine. That's why you got the 200 and OK response. So th these, uh, so this is one of the simpler way to kind of go into each page of your application, fetch all the links and then you can just uh, do some backend connection by using the HTTP URL connection and get the details so that you don't need to go to all of these links manually and then click on each link and verify all these things. Okay. So hope this particular session is helpful. We will be seeing like this some interesting topics in our upcoming sessions. So stay tuned and do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.